Hey everyone, um, first off I want to apologize for the lack of my videos um, and then also my appearance. I did just get out of bed um, and today is a lazy day for me. Um, I have been very, very, very sick. It's been, it's been a tough couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to have to say that the 8th and ninth week of pregnancy were the worst. Um, I had a couple of days during that time that I couldn't hold anything down at all for the entire day. Like water, any bread, crackers, nothing. You name it. Um, and those days were just making me very emotional and um, very moody. And I was really, really nervous about the fact of whether or not my child was actually getting food um, and what it needs. And then there were, like, most of the time I couldn't even take my prenatal vitamin. Luckily, those days never happened um, two days in a row. It was always one day, and then I'd be sick a couple days before the, or in between that, and then I have another one of those days where everything just coming up. I've literally been sick every day since, um, I'm going to say week six, so it's been hard, um, and now it's, it's calming down, and, um, I think it's getting close to that second trimester relief, um, I've had, um, Last night I was sick, and that was mainly because I took a nap for like two and a half hours. So it was just mainly that stomach acid that you get in the morning. Um, but other than that, it's mainly just been a couple times in the morning, and then I'm fine throughout the rest of the day, and I've been able to eat so much food and start gaining weight back. Um, I have actually lost three pounds since um, my last doctor's appointment. So, if I go by the scale at um, the doctor's office, it's only, I was 122 pounds. But I go by the scale at my work because I use that on a daily basis. So, it's about three pounds over. So, it's about, um, I believe I got down to 124 on that scale. So, it was kind of... It was really frustrating me, and everybody was like, well, you don't need to worry about it, it's okay, it's okay. And my husband kept saying, honey, it's normal, you've been throwing up every day, it's okay. And my doctor said it was fine as long as I was able to keep some fluids down and stuff and not get dehydrated. Um, yeah, so I'm very, very grateful that the last, I think it's been about... Um, been about four or five days I've been able to just eat whatever I want and feel great. Um, I've even been eating pizza for the first time since I got pregnant, so um, I'll probably have more pizza for lunch today. Everybody's like, don't start pigging out on food. You don't need to gain all that weight. So, um, But I did go back up two pounds as I checked yesterday, so within four days of being able to eat, I got back up to two pounds. So I think it was at 127 pounds. Samson, stop scratching the bed. Sorry, my cat, he's, we're trying to focus on teaching him things that he's not allowed to do and stuff, but I haven't been very motivated and energetic to deal with him. He's not my favorite animal in the world right now. <laughs> um, the last couple of days, I will say that I've gotten more affectionate towards him. I think it's my hormones are <laughs> leveling out, and I'm getting used to it again. And so I've been more lovable towards him. He hasn't been my worst enemy. Um. So, but yeah. Anyway, um, the morning sickness has just mainly been what's what's been hard. It's. I wouldn't say. I, you know, I'm not trying to complain about it and stuff, and I'm going to tell everyone now, and I'm sure you've heard this several times, coming from a person that has been, has been trying for over three years to get pregnant, I 
I'm going to tell you that you really don't know how hard it is to be sick every day, all day long, until you're going through it. So it's not, it's not a piece of cake. Um, it is, it is nice knowing that it's for a good cause and everything, and you're, you know, you have a wonderful blessing and miracle coming from it, but it is very stressful. It's, it takes a lot of your energy away, and it really scares you because you do feel like you're not eating well, and so it's just, it's hard. It really is. Um, there is a fine line between complaining about it and just, you know, letting you know about it, so... I do know people that don't want to be pregnant and have complained and complained about their entire pregnancy. Those are people that, yeah, you can... <laughs> I just basically want to say how much I am sorry to all those women that I ever said, while you're having a baby, you should be grateful that you're even in that situation. So, um, I do literally apologize for that. Um... So yeah, a lot of things that I've gotten the past week um, is I'm starting to get round ligament pain. I'm getting it everywhere. Um, a lot of times I'm tossing and turning at night. Um, I get a little uncomfortable. Still getting leg cramps at night. Yesterday I was sitting around and stuff and I started noticing or feeling this tingling feeling in, like my legs were going numb. So I had to walk around a lot because... I could feel like my blood, whatever, was running through my legs all funky. Yeah. Anyway. Um, sorry, my cat's over there. I keep looking at him. Make sure he's not terrorizing the room. Um, now, it, what my main thing is, is that I'm just really exhausted. Like, I'm so grateful that I'm not sick all the time and I'm able to eat, but... The exhaustion is really kicking in, and I want to take a nap and stuff, but half the time it's like how hungry I am, I end up eating, and then I can't take a nap because then I end up like last night where I woke up and I was sick. So it's just, I don't know, I try to get a nap in and every now and then, but it's just, it's hard. Um, I've been getting, I've been sneezing a lot lately, and even with colds and stuff, I never really sneezed. Um, I've got points where I will sneeze. Like one day I, um, just scratched the top of my nose right here and I sneezed seven times in a row. I don't know where that came from. Yesterday I sneezed like four times. I'm also getting hiccups a lot, but I'll only have a few hiccups and then it goes away. So it was kind of funny. Um, and... My husband seems to hate when I say round ligament pain. He wants me to say belly pain or something. He just kind of, yeah, he gets paranoid about things too. So, um, but there's nothing wrong with round, it's just weird. Um, I had my second appointment, my first prenatal appointment on Tuesday. And, um, I had an hour appointment with an OB nurse and she went over like all the, all my options, all the doctors there that I can choose to have. Um, and then also, they went over like all the shots and stuff that I would need to get and ones that are optional and all the foods that I should avoid and um, foods that I should take, medications that I can take, and then also like normal symptoms throughout pregnancy and things to be aware of. They also gave me, trying to find it, sorry. Um, they gave me this, which is really helpful. It's a, it's a food chart and stuff, once you know what um, the average amount of stuff in each, in different foods and stuff that you can eat. So, And then also like the food pyramid stuff. I, I know I don't really get that close in the things, so, like vegetables, my whole life I've loved vegetables, I've always been the one that you can, um, give vegetables to, and, um, I would choose that over candy any day, but now it's like I can't even think of broccoli or carrots, it just, uh, 
and broccoli and carrots have always been my favorite. It's like I, I'm definitely um, carrying my Samson down, um, carrying my husband's child because he's not, he does not like vegetables. He'll eat salad every now and then and some other things, but he's just mainly he won't eat anything. Um, cucumbers I can still eat, but it's hard to find good cucumbers around here. I do like to eat salad the most. Um, any place I go, I try to get a salad from. Uh, let's see. Also, what we did at my appointment, they um, gave me the bl uh, the flu shot and stuff. My husband was sick for like five days this week. and I was thinking he had it, so I went ahead and got the flu shot. That's the very first time I've ever gotten it in my life. Um, and then also they did like five vials of blood. And uh, they said that as long as no if there is nothing wrong, then they won't call me back. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So they're like, if you don't have a phone call from us, then all your test results were fine and stuff. So, um, but I went in there. We did the annual, like your annual exams and stuff. And um, they decided since they were already going in to do one exam, they might as well do an ultrasound too. So just to ease my mind a bit because I was I was really feeling like I don't know I'm at that stage where you don't feel like you're pregnant um, it's just weird yeah you start feeling like okay is there really a baby in there growing is it healthy and then I was reading up on things where women have actually their baby's heartbeats have stopped and they didn't even had have, have any bleeding or cramping and so I was like okay is my baby alive <laughs> I'm just really paranoid about everything so they went ahead and did an ultrasound, and again, they found the baby right away, and, um, yeah. So, this is our first picture frame for the baby's room. Um, and the baby's measuring three days bigger. So this was at ten weeks and two days pregnant. And you can see one foot over here, like it's kicking, and one foot, and then the two arms are up here. The umbilical cord is going up above its head because the placenta is up there. Um, and we listened to the heartbeat. It was about 170 beats per minute. Um, what else? It was just shy of about 4 centimeters long. So that's pretty good. I said that the baby's definitely going to have Daniel's genetics because he's six foot seven so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a big baby I still think it's a girl I have that instinct that it is a girl I still keep having dreams though of it being a boy like I have ultrasound videos in my sleep and stuff of us finding out the gender and it being a boy the thing is is that with the gender Daniel does not want to know he wants to wait until the baby is born so I'm gonna find out because I really want to find out if we can, my next appointment, which will be January 3rd, I'll be a little over 15 weeks. If not then, then the next one. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to send him out of the room, and the um, tech can tell me and stuff. They're not going to put it on the record or anything, so no other ultrasound techs will accidentally say it or anything like that. Um, if that does come to the case, then my husband's fine with it. But he said that if he finds out, then he gets to pick out the name for a girl. <laughs> So, and I'm like, that's not very fair. But I'm going to find out. I'm not telling anybody. So, nobody else is going to know except for me. Um, but, yeah. I um, can't think of anything else. We have been having some issues with picking out names. Like, I already have Ava Lee picked out. That's, that's, a, that's dead on right there. We're not changing that one. But he keeps changing the boy name. He went from Matthew to... Scott, and I just don't like one-syllable names when you have a one-syllable middle name. And so then he he um, decided he liked Oliver, and then he came up to me yesterday, and he's like, well, Oliver just doesn't seem like it goes well with our son's name. So then he likes Owen, and I keep saying that he's going to change the name several times. So, But anyway, we'll end up, yeah, I guess you'll find out when the baby's born what his name really is. So, but anyway, quickly, this is my belly right now, so, um, it's getting a little bit there. It's definitely hard and stuff, so I, 
I have gotten so much round ligament pain and stuff so I can feel everything growing. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go. This is already 15 minutes. So you guys have a great day. If I think of anything else, I'll try to remember it for my next video. If I don't have another video for a while, um, don't think that anything's wrong and stuff. Uh, I just, I'm not motivated to do anything. I'm, I feel like the laziest person on the planet. My house is so messy right now. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go and you ladies have a great day. Thank you. Bye.